Oh. Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, y'all know what it is. Coming in with this week's Raising Canaan, it is episode six, Level Up. Yeah. Let's get right into it because it was a good one. Yeah, it was. Yeah, this week was a really, really good episode. Uh, so we back at this this uh, deluxe apartment at the sky that now the inspector that found out that some misappropriation <laughs> is going on there. So he done came there to see they don't got they don't got the flows all busted up, chic rock everywhere. So the inspector like, wait a minute, this is freaking uh, state run freaking apartment. So we can't be having you in here renovating like this is your own. Uh, we need to talk about this and get this straight because if not, you can be facing all kind of fines, jail times, going for the judge. I was like, don't oh, all that, 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 all that over a government house? Well, God, don't. I'm like, Lord. So the inspector decide, okay, we need to meet tonight at eight o'clock <laughs> so we can talk through these, to all this, you know, get things straight. So basically he wanted some fuss. In exchange for her being able to do what she wanted to do in an apartment. I said, uh-uh, somebody going to end up dead. So, we actually thought that Ra was going to go through with it. We thought that she was going to sleep with this inspector. So, we was like, because we saw in the episode that, basically, their connect have cut them off. And we'll talk a little bit more about that in a few minutes. But, they cut off, so we was like, she going to do what she need to do to keep this inspector's mouth cut, uh, quiet. So we saw later in the episode that she went to meet up with him at the 8 o'clock and he was ready to collect, but she was like, this is a cash deal. He was like, oh no. The hell it <laughs> is. And started choking her as y'all saw. I said, oh wow, so this is what we're yeah. doing right now. And yeah, and it led to him, there to her end up busting him upside the head with a hammer, which we thought that he was dead at that point, but we found out that he wasn't dead. Hmm. That Marvin had to end up coming in and finishing up the job. But we actually, really, like I said, we thought that, that was Ra was going to sleep with this dude. I mean, did you thought? I mean, you, you didn't think she was going to do it? I thought that she was going to seduce him to get her way by the way that she was dressed when she went over there. But I didn't think she was actually going to sleep with him. I actually thought she was going to get him to a vulnerable place, kind of like uh, uh, Luther on uh, Set It Off. Oh, get yeah, Get you yeah, into yeah. a vulnerable position and then take you out. That's what I actually thought. Like, I actually thought, like, Marvin was, like, in the cut somewhere, waiting to take him out at the whistle of of his sister. Right. So, now we, uh, we see the detective, uh, oh my he's God. really concerned about his life now, and he kind of, like, pissing me off because we saw that he was talking to his doctor, when he rolled up on the doctor and was like, you know, what if... I had another son, you know, could I, you know, do the bone marrow transplant for the son? The doctor was like, technically, uh, you can do it. Well, no, uh, she was like, how old was, is, is this particular person? She said, yeah. he said 15. She was like, technically, they technically have to be 18, 18. but oh, we can pull some strings to make some things happen with parental consent. And I was like, nah, this is not what we're going to do, I dog. I is this Tyler Perry when they like, were you, doing this? Yeah, you're not fit to come in Kanan's life just to get some bone marrow from him, man. Come but when on. did he start taking his life seriously? Yeah, like, yeah, I was like, yeah, when did that change? That's yeah. what really, like, because I'm like, this whole time, he's been like, oh, okay, so I'm dying, dog. Okay. But well, yeah, you need to um start eating better and stop smoking cigarettes. It was like, oh, well, okay, dog. Well, so I'm like, okay, so now all of a sudden you found out that you have a son. You want to take your life a little bit more seriously right. now? Like, when did, where did this come from? Yeah, and, and that's one of our pet peeves is like, if you don't want to be in the kid's life, don't be in the kid's life. Don't come in there with right. an agenda to take from them. When to only, get only when you get what you want, you're going to dip. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. That, 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 yeah, that, that yeah. skit. <laughs> yeah, that, that skit. We can talk about that all day. Right. So, uh, of course, Kanan cannot do anything without Rob finding out. I said, how did she find this get out? How did she find, it was, it was like, how in the world did she find out that he got picked up by the police? And I know. It was Scrap. Scrap. It was Scrap. That was that Scrap was the one that told him when she rolled up on him. Yep. When he was walking down the street and got in the car. It was Scrap. But... Ron kind of remind me of my mama and my daddy when I was growing up. Like, when I first got, when I got my first car, I don't know if, if y'all fellas, if you had the parents be like, I don't want you to ride around no hard heads and no fellas, no bros and anything like that in your car. You need to ride all by yourself. 
to make sure you don't get no trauma. And of course, telling a 16 year old that, how is it gonna be cool riding around the car by, by yourself? yourself? That's the first thing you're gonna do is go get pick up your fellas, and that's what I did. And every single time I did, every time I got home, she'd be like, Yep, yeah, I know you was out there with the fellas. Yep, I know you was riding with such and such and such. Yep, I know you were. Like, how did you know this stuff? But come to find out, some of the time she was seeing me, and some of the time somebody was snitching. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But I, but she would never tell me who was snitching, though. Oh, no. You got to keep your connects real tight. So, yeah. So, like, when Kayla was like, Ma, how do you know this? Like, that's, I feel you. <laughs> but he immediately knew. Ma, don't do nothing against Stephanie. Yes. He did this because I asked him to. Yep. He knew his mama. He knew her. Yep. He, he definitely he definitely knew his mama. And which we're going to talk a little bit more about Symphony uh, coming up in a bit. But uh -huh. we're but we going to talk about DJ Cassidy. We call it. We call it. <laughs> so they got the showcases going down. And of course, we already know that he broke. He ain't got no money. You know, he a struggling producer. Mm -hmm. So Lou... It's fitting the bill for everything. So they up over at the, I don't know where they at setting up for the show. Truth. The truth. <laughs> it's true. So he over there, the light guy come up, another guy come up. Hey, Lou, uh, DJ Cassidy said you need to get paid. You know, we need to get paid, you know. So Lou just handed out cash and then we saw Rock coming. It was like, like, oh, like, wait a minute. So you just in here paying everybody bills and you know, you know, we got bills to pay. So, you know, I guess I need to go back out in the street and make more money so you can pay all these bills. And he was like, sis, this is my money. I'm yeah. doing this out of my, my money. Yeah. And she was like, but you still realize that your money is our money. I said, hold on, Rock. <laughs> That's his cut. That's his cut. He can do whatever the fuck he want to do with his cut. But I heard, I knew what she was saying. Listen, if we come into a pinch, personal need, money needs to go back into the business. Pop. Yeah, because you realize that, you know, business is tough right now. You know, we we, we ain't got much product left. <laughs> I got to say, I like me some Lou, though. Yeah, Lou. I like Lou. Yeah, he is. He's so smooth. But I don't trust his girlfriend, though. Nah. What her name? Nicole? She, I don't know what her no, name is. No, I don't know. I, don't, I can't even remember her name. She's either. an opportunist. So, speaking of the showcase, so when Uncle Marlon found out about the showcase, he wanted to decide that he wanted to be like, you know, F your showcase, F what you doing, yada, yada, yada. And Lou was like, well, the showcase that I'm putting on, is uh, your daughter is actually going to be in this showcase. And he was like, huh? And he was like, if you if you step up and be a daddy. You would have known that. You would have known that. I was like, but you could see that really, like, that hurt. Hit Marvin in the heart. Oh, but Lou do what I do. Don't come, don't come out your mouth sideways with me if I if I have a double barrel shotgun <laughs> in my pocket. Because the moment you think you getting real slick at the mouth, I'm going to blast your A away. Yep. <laughs> so that's what he did. He was like, oh, so you want to get real slick at the mouth? You didn't even know that your daughter is What's in the showcase. Why don't you be a better parent to your daughter? Right. I said. <laughs> but I think we all had like Uncle Lou's in our life that you know, bought you stuff that, you know, that mama that wouldn't buy you, took you places that mama that wouldn't take you to. Uh-huh. That you was your Uncle Lou. About either. Right. And the Uncle Lou was a person that let you know that whatever your dream was, if you wanted to play ball, you know, you wanted to be whatever you wanted to be, was that uncle was like, yeah, you can do that. Yeah, that uncle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't make they don't make them like that no more. They though. don't make them like that. Yeah, they come they come a, a, a dime a dozen. So we see the scene where uh, Ra finally confronts Tiffany about this hiding this stuff with Kanan and the police, oh, which is it kind of was a double edged sword. He was wrong. He I mean he really was. He should have had told her, but at the same time he wanted to still make a good impression on Kanan. Right. You know because he can't have no relationship with his mama. If he gonna he gonna catch the you know the skit from Kanan on the back end on the back end so that's why he that's why he did it so yeah. but of course you know mama and boys she won't do that he was like she was like base is over you 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 I told you from the beginning my son I, is I, my son my son is everything and he's off limits and you and you betrayed that trust and it's over he was like it's like that just like that yup so but, but he was in a lose lose position yeah he was if he had went. Well, if Kanan had called him and he would have told Kanan, no, I'm not going to come pick you up, Kanan would have been forever mad with him. He would have made that part of their relationship harder than it needed to be. Right. And then with him doing the, doing it the way that Kanan wanted it to be done, then he bucked up his chances with the mama. Yep. So it was a lose-lose regardless. Yep. Regardless. 
Yeah, but I, I, I actually, I, I like them together, man. For real, for real. I, I think, I, I, think I think their connection is, is really genuine. But like y'all say, y'all think, y'all think y'all need to see the feds. So I, I think he five over. Yeah, so uh, well, huh? We'll One see. One time. I let's, don't let's see if he can get back in the game because he, he out now. <laughs> yeah, I hear I say if he, if he really is a sneaky credit person, he gonna find a way to sneak and slide his way back into her life. So that he can get the job done. <clears throat> right. Whatever that shall be. So we'll see. But uh, shouts out to Nicole. Because I thought that after that little situation with her mom and them. I thought that she was going to pull away from Jukebox. So when she showed up at Jukebox house. I was like you know what. I was, I was like oh she like Juke for real. She ain't she ain't play pimping. She said I told you I <laughs> wanted to see your house. Yep. I was like come on Jukebox. But I also like the conversation that they had. Because um. Last week when we were talking about that, how the mama flipped on jukebox was racially charged, yeah. um, racially motivated. Yeah. And some people in the comments was like, well, how could we say that? I think it was more of her having, you know, <laughs> she didn't approve of her daughter being, you know, gay or bisexual or whatever. Right. I was like, mm -mm. it nah, was the words of what she used. Said, yep. So then jukebox came behind it this week and reconfirmed it with Nicole. And Nicole was like, you know, I think. It would have been any girl. Any girl. She would have said it to any girl. And Jukebox was like, would mm -hmm. your mom have used those words that I was a repellent? Yeah, to a, yeah, to a it, white girl. Nah. She was like, she would have never used that with a white girl. So I was like, <laughs> okay. So she, she doubled down and she reconfirmed that we were feeling it right. Right. <laughs> and she was like, I'm going to be at that showcase because I'm going to hear you sing. So I already been lying to my mom <laughs> about where I'm at. It ain't going to mean nothing that I'm going to lie again yeah. and be up over there. So I, I'm I'm trying to figure out what that's gonna mean, like as far as like her mom, her dad, mom, relationship with her mom and dad, because she was like f my mom, f my dad. But I was like, nah, don't f your dad. Your dad, yeah, he, he cool. cool, he cool. He was just trying to figure out what the hell was going on. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on. <laughs> dad don't give a damn. <laughs> so uh, speaking of Juke, so we back over at the showcase. So it's almost time for Famous and Juke to perform. But Juke got nervous. She nervous. She. Yeah, yeah she like me. Like when I was coming up, getting up, doing any public, anything public speaking, like in school, you know, you had to do the oral presentations. Anything where I had to get up in front of people and talk, I didn't want to do it. Matter of fact, I took zeros and look at on my head. projects. But look now at you now, you too. Now the law <laughs> talking to thousands at yeah. a time. Look but, at the law. But even then, you know, even but even outside of YouTube, I have done a whole lot of public standing up and doing stuff yeah. that I've over. I still be afraid now. Yeah, but once you yeah, get, but you once start. you get once you get started, you you cool. So I felt her high, you know, hiding in the bathroom. <laughs> so Kanan came and Fame was like, you know what? This is my time. I've been fasting, praying before the Lord <laughs> to do this, and you know, this is about me, but it's also about her, but it's, it's more about, about me. me. You know, so I need you to talk her out the bathroom. But come to find out that Kanan is the one that always talks her out of the, the, the bathroom to perform. So he said, do you need me to cry? Because yeah. you know I'll do it. I've done it before. I'll start to cry right now. <laughs> so he talked her off the ledge. So when they finally was getting ready to go on to perform, their famous started freezing up. And I was like, now, I, did you I go? Said, come on, Rabbit. Like, come on, bro. You been getting Come on, Rabbit. <laughs> Papa Doc got a gun. It's like, don't choke, don't choke. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh. <laughs> that's all he yeah. needed. But Juke bailed him out, was like, you know, we from, you know, we not might not be from Brooklyn, but we from Southside. We represent Southside. You know, we from the streets. We represent, you know, we are who we are. If you don't like who we are, that's on you, yada yada. My mama told him, that's my that's daughter. That's my daughter. I'm I like, say, you yeah, just bad out she gonna be right. there. <laughs> <laughs> you just bad out she gonna be there. Performing. So, of course, they they ripped it, but let's kind of spin back a little bit. You remember before the showcase even got started, your mama Lou had to end up going talk to Unique because they didn't want he didn't want any type of drug activity, anything. He wanted to be clean. You know, he wanted to go off without a hitch. So I was like, you know, you brave. We're going to talk to Neek right now, knowing that y'all beefing. But, beefing hard. But Unique said something pretty pretty cool. He was like, I like you, Lou. You level-headed. Matter of fact, Rod, I'm lucky to have you, man, because these streets are getting hot. This is Real hot. hot. But, you know, Lou didn't know that Scrap was in the back. You know, I guess he didn't know. No. Yeah, but I, but I don't even know if... Well, we're not going to talk about that yet. Because well, I was going to talk about maybe the possible setup 
with Ra and Scrap and all that stuff. We're going to talk about that in a minute. But it was cool that Lou felt safe enough to go over there and talk to him level-headed, which I knew that Unique was bullskitting him, was saying that, you know, he called his guys off like, right. it's going to be clean. I was like, that's that's BS. Because I so, said Ra and them don't did too much against yeah, him yeah, for yeah. him not to do that. So, yeah, so as soon as they left, they brought Scrap, uh, Scrap out the back and was like, you and you is going over there and light that mug up. So we already knew, but I was like, I was like, okay. So I was like, we was wondering if Scrap was sent in to, you know, to, to eavesdrop so they can, you know, do something to his crew. So he thought he was a plant, but I was like, this is risky because Unique them is not going to believe that all of a sudden Scrap is just going to flip on them and wants to be against them just like that. So I knew that there was going to be a test. Uh-huh. Yeah, so the test was this showcase. So we saw that they made it to the showcase. As a matter of fact, I actually, remember that little spout that was at the door at first? I actually thought that was them having a the diversion. I thought that was, a, I know it wasn't them, but I thought it was a diversion to get kind of get stuff kind of started. So they could slip right So they could slip on in so they can start doing what they want to do. So they found their opportunity, they, they broke a window and they got in. So I was like, okay. Strap told the dude was like, okay, so who we hitting? So he didn't even know I'm who they was going for. So I said, uh-huh. I know this is the test now. Yeah. So when they got in, he was like, so we hit Lou? And I was like, here it is, here it is. I said, oh no, so, we got hit Lou. So Lou, Lou Lou peeped what was going on and you know, Scrap was like, and Lou hit the dude to create the diversion, but so when they got back outside, the dude was like, Unique already knew that you couldn't be trusted. And I was like, I was like, Ra is more smarter than this. Like, why would you do why that? Why would Ra send him in knowing it, that yeah. you're going to die? So I'm like, either she made a bad call because she wanted to take them down so bad. Or was you upset with Scrap, Scrap because of him hitting Kanan? And I was like, it wasn't I, that deep. Yeah. So I'm like, I, it was, yeah. And from what I understand, they said Scrap been down with them for years. But 50 did say that, you know, all that stuff you did in the present. Don't matter. Don't matter. I mean, you did in the past doesn't matter if you mess up in the present. But I don't feel like he messed up. Yeah, I didn't up. feel like I he mean, messed up either. Make us, I mean, I, I don't know. I think he came in too. Yes. I, yeah, I. I don't know. What y'all y'all let me know down in the comments. What y'all think? With yeah, this? do y'all think that he did something that was that grand that he should have lost his life? Like, did he, what? Did we miss something? Like, did yeah. Scrap do something and we missed it? Yeah, because I don't feel like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But let's like go back to the apartment because when Mama told you that Marvin had to take care of the inspector. And Marvin, he's still on one that he wants to, he wants to be the guy. That's in charge. And this and this Negro ended up putting the inspector behind the goddamn drywall. And I was like, that seems good and all, but I'm like, that body is going to start to stink <laughs> in there behind us. I don't know. Blood like, going to start leaking through the drywall. So when, when Rock told you to take care of this, I don't know what she mean, like, take care of it and keep that there. Uh, so, yeah, because, yeah. Yeah, I'm like... You ain't encapsulate him in a bag or yeah. nothing. Like, he's literally in the wall. He in the wall. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I, yeah. I said, darn. I said, y'all got grandma on them beaker. Grandma, you them used to put money in the wall and stuff like in the floorboards. Yeah. You done put a whole man in the wall. <laughs> so, yeah, and then we saw the episode kind of went in. We seen everybody having sex, Kanan and Danita. I said, oh. Uh, who else we saw having sex? He was so. protected though. Yeah. Uh, Fane. Fane, yep. He got himself a piece, you know. Uh, who else was um, it? Lou and yep, his girl. Lou and his girl, yeah. I don't know about um, Nicole and Juke. Did I miss that? No, yeah. they were on their way back on yeah, the bus. Yeah, they was on the bus, yeah. But did y'all see her smoke that lace blunt though? Yeah. I was going to talk about that, but they kind of didn't show too much of that. Just like she kind of She smoked. was just high as hell on that yeah. bus. I was like, Juke, you don't see that your girl high as hell on that bus. Man. Yeah, and then we saw that man, Scrap gone, man. I we knew we knew they was gonna take him out. After that, he was gone. Yeah, I was waiting for him to put a bullet in his head right outside when he confronted him, and then I was like, "What they about to do with Scrap?" Yeah. And that last scene where you hear pop, 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 and something about your boy, and went outside, and they don't had him out there just like like he on a fishing yeah. line. Yeah. But hey, 
we know this only gonna take it to a, a, another level. Yeah. It is. <laughs> I'm like, wow. But yeah. But yeah, but that's not, yeah. But what? <laughs> Raw just moving real, like like my husband said. She getting a little sloppy in my in yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Because even with the connect and how the connect <clears throat> cut her off. You didn't expect that man to cut you off? Yeah, after, after you did that. After you crossed him like that? Mm hmm And pretty much pulled his own mans away from him so that you could try to set up um Nick and them, and you thought that he was just gonna let that go. Like he didn't figure like he wouldn't have figured it out yep. that it was you. And now you don't have a connect because you did it. But I do um add this, I do like that Lou is trying to get them out the business. So that's why he's doing the showcase Ghost. with the yeah, so he's ghosts trying to get them out of the business, but we'll see. We'll see where that goes. Straight from the VA. The dirty, dirty south. Two up. Two down. Two down. Holla. Boom.